Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marcher here with your outlook for the weekend, September 12th and 13th, 2015. And we're going to have an area of low pressure and it's associated warm front that's going to push through the area today. And this is going to bring us another round of rain. Now, this is uh, the last couple of days we've been looking at the system and it, uh, the model guidance has continuously sped this up a little bit. So uh, that continued to be the trend today. And now it looks like most of Saturday will be uh, will be a rainy day, especially for our rest, uh, western sections. I do think it holds off the af afternoon as we get farther east in places like uh, extreme eastern Pennsylvania, uh, most of New Jersey and Delaware. So if you're out here by uh, places like State College down to Harrisburg and York and places like that, you could see some uh, rain start coming in already by the morning. Uh, would be probably favor late morning, but uh, morning nonetheless. So for the game up here at, uh, for the Penn State home game, obviously, um, you know, it'll be a wet, a wet ride there for the, for that game here. But uh, you know, anywhere east of there, we should hold off until a little bit, uh, a little bit after noon. It looks like. I uh, can't say you can't have an isolated shower early on the morning here, but the concentration of this rainfall will be later as we go into. Uh, go into the afternoon hours here you can see that rain moving east and uh, the area low pressure is actually going to be sitting right about here over central PA and that's going to lift on up to the north up to a position right about here for Sunday so it's not going to move much uh, but it will allow for this uh, rainfall to occur this is not going to be a repeat of Thursday so we had some extremely heavy rainfall total extreme rainfall totals um, you know, there were some some three, four, five inch rain amounts. We're not talking about anything like that. I think the upside here is for central PA counties to, uh, uh, or the western counties of our coverage area here in central PA, should have an upside of about two inches, maybe the same in about in northeastern PA. Elsewhere, I think your upside is going to be one and a half inches, and that's going to be only predicated if you get these thunderstorms. That's going to be the difference between the other days when we didn't really have the thunderstorm component. Now we will. Uh, today now your thunderstorm areas are not going to be everywhere I think it's just going to be if I had to draw a line it'd be somewhere like this these are going to be your areas that could get into the thunderstorm action anywhere up here will not so this is just going to be some heavy rainfall uh, locally heavy rainfall and our heaviest areas of rain are also going to be in our western counties out here like this this is probably your your heaviest area of rain here you're still going to get some decent amounts of rain in the uh, further southeast and from here but again the heaviest concentration is going to be further to the northwest today I'm going to put this in motion this is starting off uh, late morning you can see already uh, some rains making it into state college and uh, getting get ready to move into the lower Susquehanna Valley at this point next frame it's uh, inundating pretty much everywhere here and you can except for our far eastern areas here now this is now looking at early afternoon on Saturday uh, so, uh, so the heaviest rains back uh, over in South Central PA again, back into actually all of Central PA pretty much, working its way to the east here, and then uh, you see see what's happening here. Most of the uh, heaviest stuff is going to be situated right up here in this area here. This is more thunderstorm activity down here, so that's why it's showing up with these dark colors. But as most of the concentration of the heavy rain is going to be up to our northwestern areas, and then that's going to lift up off to the northeast with this area low pressure, and this area low pressure actually is going to be. If I can get this in here right, area low pressure is actually going to set, set up shop up here for Sunday as this system starts pulling away. But this is now looking at uh, 10 p.m. So uh, we're looking at uh, most of this moving away at this point, maybe a leftover shower here ending before midnight. But I do think most areas are going to be uh, dry by the time we get to midnight here across our coverage area here. We're looking at total precipitation, again, Heaviest axis, <clears throat> excuse me. Heaviest axis is going to favor an area to the to, uh, to the northwest. For the southeast, I'll get into less amounts here. But I want to trust these all auto, as automatic amounts here with these uh, less than a half inch amounts here. You could get higher than that if you get some thunderstorms roll through. They could dump some very heavy rainfall, so be aware of that. Okay, and here is a look at uh, at Sunday then. Area low pressure moves up, up to the north here. So I think it'll be still in close enough proximity that we could still get an isolated shower here, especially the afternoon here on Sunday. Uh, but most of the day is probably just going to be rain free for most areas, just remaining mostly cloudy. And then after that point, we're going to have high pressure move in from Monday through Thursday of next week, with temperatures increasing a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Temperatures increasing a little bit by the time we get to Tuesday and beyond. Uh, sat Sunday and Monday should remain on the cooler side before this high pressure moves offshore and brings in winds coming in more from the west southwest, increasing those temperatures for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 
I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Margrich, and that is your outlook for the weekend, September 12th and 13th, 2015. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.